Today, a tweet from the new owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, saying the bird is freed. His first decision as the man in charge, immediately firing several top executives, according to an ABC News source. It's sort of a black box, what, the, what will happen in the future, simply because he has so many plans and now he is going to cut so much staff. So it's very unclear what will actually happen. CEO Parag Agrawal and CFO Ned Siegel ousted after Musk closed the deal originally valued at $44 billion. I think it was very clear that Elon wanted to shake up the leadership of Twitter. He singled out some of the executives that he fired on Thursday in the past and said, you know, that he had problems with specific decisions that they had made. Decisions like banning former President Trump from the platform after inciting violence during the January 6th insurrection. Musk signed a deal to acquire Twitter back in April. He tried to back out and the company sued him to force the acquisition. In a statement tweeted to advertisers, Musk says the reason he acquired Twitter is to have a common digital town square but saying Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. It's a little worrying in the sense that when you tear it down to build it back up again, you have to have some sort of a North Star or vision to take people along with to say, this is the reason why I'm doing that. And we haven't quite seen that other than um, some hand-waving at free speech it's unclear exactly what's next for Twitter. We do know that it will no longer be a publicly traded company with no shareholders to answer to. Musk can run the company how he wants, but has offered no concrete plans on how he'll do that. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.